I have always wanted to work for something related to climate change. Temperature of the earth is still rising and it never knows the end. And so seeing that kind of crisis, I strongly felt that I have to do something, I have to act immediately. I realized that the time is now. So I came all the way here to this small town, Osaki. Osaki town has achieved a recycling rate of more than 80%, which is the highest throughout Japan. The pine forest spreading by the beach of Osaki town is a vast windbreak with a total length of 24 kilometers. And hundreds of years ago, our ancestors planted these trees to protect the town from heavy winds and sands from the ocean. But they did this for the future generation rather than for themselves because they knew that the trees would take hundreds of years to grow. And now I feel like it is my turn and I came here to create a circular economy that leads to mitigation of climate change for the future generations. I moved to Tuvalu soon after I was born because of my father's work. And the life there was calm sea and breeze. And also communities were run on top of mutual support. I went back to Tuvalu when I was in high school and realized that the country is suffering from the rising sea levels, extreme drought due to climate change. And it was a shocking moment for me to see the country where I spent my childhood was facing a huge crisis. In Osaki town, waste is sorted into 27 different categories. Since there is no incineration plant, only these blue bags go directly to the landfill without getting incinerated and other 26 categories will be um, sorted and recycled properly. Uh, I really feel people should learn more about the process of how products end up. Without realizing that, uh, it is very difficult to stop mining fossil fuels and shift into a circular economy. Not only citizens, but the municipal government and uh, also companies should also be aware of this situation. And the existence of incineration plants that allows people to burn any different kinds of uh, waste makes it even more impossible to know the end of waste. Of course, there are some waste that cannot be recycled properly without incineration. However, I think waste management should not be designed with an incineration plant included from the beginning. What I would like to emphasize is that it is very important to know how your products, how your wastes are treated in your municipality. And by learning them, you will realize the complexity of the issue, but at the same time, you will also realize the possibility of improvement. Oh,私たちの町自体はそのゴミをもやすとかそういったやる化石燃料
collected recyclable waste uh, comes to this place called the Seoul Recycling Centre. And citizens will sort into 27 categories at their homes, but this centre will further separate it into uh, more than 40 categories. And plastics will be separated into hard types and packages, and then compressed. And cans will be separated into aluminium and steels uh, with this separation machine. Uh, composite materials such as pans, because they have a plastic handle, um, they are uh, cracked by hammers and will be separated by hands. The compressed waste will then be taken to recycling factories all over the country. Uh, the, the profits from trading recyclable waste are used as a scholarship of students from Osaki. And from my life here, I started to ask myself how I would throw away these products every time I shop. When we throw away plastics, we have to make sure that they are clean enough so the recycling proce process after this proceeds smoothly. We wash even the small packages and sometimes we have to use detergent to wash them off. Seasonings in tubes are um, pretty difficult to wash so I started to buy them in bottles. We also have to wash the thin plastic layer of the new packages. And also because we can only put out uh, waste only once a month, we have to keep a huge amount of recyclable waste at our home. Food wastes are collected three times a week with this blue bucket. When the food wastes are brought here, they get crushed into smaller pieces. And uh, prune plants will also be brought in here and they will be crushed together. And they are mixed together with the food waste. And the prune plants also contains many native uh, microorganisms. So, uh, as they get active by decomposing the, the food waste, the waste turns into a rich compost. And the steam is rising from the pile because the microorganisms are very active. And the pile will be left to rest for another couple of months until the decomposing process of microorganisms ends completely. The whole process will take about five to six months. Almost all the compost is used as at farms in Osaki. And rape flowers are grown at those farms to make a rape seed oil. The whole process of decomposing food waste doesn't need chemicals or any other substances, but just rely on the native microorganisms. I think the process is very simple and can be uh, practiced anywhere in the world. And actually, this process has been introduced to Indonesia through the JICA Partnership Program. Osaki Town officials and the Recycling Center staff went to Indonesia to show the techniques of uh, separating and composting food waste. This may become a solution to waste management issues that a lot of developing nations face right now. When the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development was adopted in 2015, I was an intern at UN Information Center in Tokyo. Through my work there, I realized the world started to head towards a sustainable future. But six years have passed since then, and I feel like nothing has been changed, and there's been no big progress. Countries are still mining a great amount of fossil fuels, which leads to an um, unstoppable emission of greenhouse gas. And the average temperature of the Earth is still rising, and the situation has gotten worse. My passion is 
mitigating climate change and doing something for the world. Even if we try to recycle everything, there are still many packages that cannot be sorted well. So currently I'm working with companies to create recyclable uh, products. And protecting the environment cannot be done by individuals alone, but uh, nor by local governments or companies alone. So we have to uh, mobilize everyone to make a difference. Sorting waste is not easy. Uh, my friends from outside of Osaki often tells me that uh, it must be pretty tough to live in Osaki. However, since I came here, I started to realize how human beings are ignorant to waste treatment. Fujita-san,たちが見るとこの町は一人一人がその分別してるってすごい町だということを直感されてそれで。大崎町に要するに移住定住してくださったんですね本当に自分たちの歓迎の及ばないところを外部の方々がすごくフォローしてくださってる本当にありがたい本当にすごい人たちが来てくれたことを嬉しく思いますし本当に私にとっては宝物